Welcome back. Okay, I'm with Annette, our favorite Argentine-German student, and she's here to improve her English. And we're going to do, from book three, translation booklet three, this is for upper intermediate and low advanced, so it's not necessarily easy. List number two, are you ready, Annette? I am. No han llegado todavía. They haven't arrived yet. Good. ¿Por qué no han llegado todavía? Why haven't they arrived yet? Porque todavía están en camino. Because they're still on the, on way, on the way. On the way. On the we no, on, on the, the way. way. Okay, porque están todavía en camino. Because? Because they are still on the way. ¿Has comido ya? Um, have you eaten yet? All right. No, no he comido todavía. No, I haven't eaten yet. All right. Vamos a hacer esto otra vez para nuestros televidentes, okay? ¿Has comido ya? Have you eaten yet? No, no he comido todavía. No, I haven't eaten yet. Good. Notas que en inglés yet están los dos, pero no en español. En, un, en uno está ya y el otro todavía. Ah. Y hay confusión siempre con esto. Okay. En las preguntas, yet. Okay. Already, normalmente no. Okay. Have you eaten yet? No, no he comido todavía. I haven't eaten yet. Okay. Uh, ¿Por qué no has comido todavía? Why haven't you eaten yet? Porque no tengo hambre. Because I have, I'm, I'm not, not hungry. I'm not hungry. Ask me if I'm starting to get hungry. Are you starting to get hungry? A little bit. Ask me if I'm going to eat something during the next break. Are you going to eat something during the next break? No, I'm not. Ask me when I'm going to eat something. When are you going to eat something? Well, when the class is over. And ask me when the class is going to be over. When, it, when uh, is the class going to be over? In about an hour, no, in an hour and a half. Ask me if I think I can wait an hour and a half. Do you think you can wait an hour and a half? Maybe not. Yes, maybe we'll have a problem. Because sometimes, ask me what kind of problem we could have. What kind of problem you could have? Could we? What kind of problem could we have? The problem with the sound. Because if I get hungry, my stomach will start growling. And the sound technician would say, Cortin, Cortin, his stomach is growling. <laughs> okay, how do you say to growl? What do you say? How do you say in Spanish? Mi estómago cruje. Cruje, are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> or is that in Argentina? No, I think it's here. so. Yeah. Okay, my stomach know. is, ask me if my stomach is growling now. Is your stomach growling now? No, it's not, I think. Growl is lo que hace el, el rugido del león. Me cruje el estómago de seguir. So, uh, my stomach isn't growling now. Okay. No han llegado todavía. They haven't come yet. Okay. ¿Por qué no han llegado todavía? Why haven't they come yet? Porque están todavía en camino. Because they are still on their way. On the way. On the way. Or on their way. Se puede decir los dos. I'm on my way. I'm on the way. Si alguien te llama. Where are you? Where are you, Annette? We're waiting for you. J'arrive, as they say in French, I'm on my way. Estoy en camino. I'm on the way. Puedes decir los dos. Personalizando, I'm on my way, or I'm on the way. Pero no digas I'm in the way. Hmm. ¿Vale? Porque es, estoy obstaculizando. <laughs> no te veo. I can't see you. Something's in the way. For example, hello? Listen, uh, I'm going to move this book out of the way. This book is in the way. You understand? It's an obstacle, it's in the way. On the way is in camino. Okay. Porque todavía están en camino. Because they are still on the way. Right. ¿Has comido ya? Ha, uh, have you eaten yet? No, no he comido todavía. No, I haven't eaten yet. ¿Por qué no has comido todavía? Why haven't you eaten yet? Porque todavía estoy estudiando. Because I'm still studying. ¿Todavía sales con él? Are you still going out with him? All right. Sí, todavía salimos juntos. Yes, we're still going together. Okay, or going out together. Ah, we are still going out together. Uh, we, we are going together. No, means, it's no, no, different. No, no, no. It's different, but based on the same situation. Mm. When you go out for some, with somebody, it doesn't mean that person is your steady boyfriend or girlfriend, that it's only you, exclusive, you mm. know? Yeah, we say this. Con cláusula de exclusividad, no. <laughs> the exclusive, exclusivity clause, no. But we say we're going together. That means you don't have any other boyfriend, only him. Yes. And he has no other girlfriend, only you. We're going together. We're going steady. 
That's uh, adolescents, teenagers say that. Uh. And you and Jimmy, I saw you together. Are you going together? Yes, we're going steady. Uh. Okay, that was in my generation. But this is different. Uh, ¿Por qué no has comido todavía? Why haven't you eaten yet? Porque todavía estoy estudiando. Because I'm still studying. ¿Todavía sales con él? You still... Are you still... Are you still going out with, with him? Sí, todavía salimos juntos. Yes, we are still going out together. ¿Le has pedido a él que se, te cases con él? Have you asked... Has he asked you? Has he asked you to marry him? Uh, no, todavía no. No, not yet. ¿Tiene la intención de hacerlo? Uh, is he? Is he having... Is he... Is he planning? Is he planning to marry you? No, to ask you. Is he planning <laughs> to ask you? All right. No lo sé todavía. I, I, I still don't know. Vale, I don't está know. bien. No, 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 está bien. I still don't know. I don't know yet. Uh, I don't know yet. Yeah. I still don't know is the same. All right. Sigo sin saberlo. I still don't know. Uh, ¿Has conocido a sus padres? Uh, did you... ¿Has conocido? Uh, have you uh, known her, uh, his parents? Mm -mm. To know, no. Change the verb. Let, let me... Have you... Um, How old were you when you... Mm, your husband. Uh, uh, have, have you? Uh, have they met... Have you? Have you met their par uh, his parents? Very good. Vamos a hacerlo otra vez. ¿Has conocido tú a sus padres de él? Have you met uh, his parents? Uh, sí, ya les he conocido. Yes, I haven't met him. Meet them. Que ya, he, ya los he conocido. I have just met them. Eso es que acabo de conocerlos. I have just met them? No. Que, no es que yo acabe de conocerlos, es que yo ya, ya les he conocido. I have just... Mm. Espera. La expresión to have just, más el, el participio. Acabo de comer, acabo de ir, acabo de hablar, acabo de, de empezar. I have just started. I have just eaten. I have just... Eso es lo que acabo de hacer. Literalmente, por ejemplo, acabo de comer. En inglés, I have just eaten. Literalmente, yo he justo comido. Justo hace unos momentos. I have just eaten. Ahora, ya he comido. No significa que haya sido necesariamente hace unos momentos. Puede ser hace cuatro horas. Que, pero sí, hoy ya he comido. I have already eaten. Uh, okay. Okay, ¿has conocido a sus padres? Have you um, met uh, his parents? Sí, ya les he conocido. Yes, I have already met them. Very good. ¿Cómo son? How are they? Están muy bien, gracias. Pero eso no es pregunta. ¿Cómo están? No, ¿cómo son? How are... Uh, look... <laughs> How are... Oh. Ah, ¿Cómo son? No me interesa su aspecto oh. físico necesariamente. Quiero saber qué how tipo... The, how are they like, like? What are they like? What are they like? Okay, good. What? All right. Ask me what my wife is like. What's your wife like? Uh, she's very nice, very intelligent, very pleasant. She's tall. She's attractive. She has a lot of very positive aspects, okay, to her character. Ask me what my daughter is like. What's your daughter like? Just like me. Yeah, she's active, ambitious, aggressive, outgoing, uh, uh, fearless. Sin miedo, you understand? Yeah, ask me what my son is like. What's your son like? Okay, he's very affectionate, uh, very good looking, all right. He's very uh, innocent. <laughs> All right, he's, he's very different from me in many ways, okay? And uh, ask me what you're like. What am I like? Well, you're very nice, very pleasant, very intelligent. Oh. ¿Qué más quieres que te diga? Nada más. <laughs> you're also very attractive. <laughs> many things. Boy, now I'm going to speak to the audience. ¿Cómo eres? ¿O cómo es usted? What are you like? What are you like? Fijaos. Pensad un poco en esto. Si quisiera preguntar, ¿qué es lo que a ti te gusta? What do you like? What do you like? Do you like paella? Cocido? Migas? What do you like when you, to, for, for a meal, for dinner? What do you like? Do you like flowers? Do you like, etc. What do you like? Ahora, what are you like? Es como eres. Tu aspecto físico y psicológico. De carácter, temperamento. Y, and um, what are you like? What am I like? What am I like? I'm very active, high energy. Okay. What am I like? What is, what is it like? Como es? For example, if Annette goes tomorrow 
and spends two months living in Siberia and comes back to my class, probably the first question I ask is, well, what's it like? Or what was it like? ¿Cómo es vivir en Siberia? O diría, ¿cómo ha sido? Puesto que ya ha vuelto. En ambos casos, si, si lo digo, ¿cómo es? What is it like living in Siberia? Or what is it like to live? Vale en el infinitivo el gerundio aquí. What is it like to live in Siberia? Or what is Siberia like? ¿Cómo es Siberia? What's Siberia like? Ahora, ¿cómo es vivir en Siberia? What's it like? What's it like? What's it? What is it? Y si hace la contracción, what's it? What's it? What's it? What's it like living in Siberia? What's it like? Okay. ¿Cómo es dar clases en inglés por televisión? What's it like? Many people ask me, in my family, friends, colleagues, uh, sub superiors, subordinates, I say, hey, what's it like? ¿Cómo es? Cuenta. What's it like? What is it like? What's it like teaching on TV? What's it like? What's well, fun? It hurts my eyes after a few hours because the lights are very strong, but it's not bad, and it's not hot. It's cold in here, all right, normally. So I don't suffer heat, but I do suffer blinding light for many hours. Okay, but what's it like? Okay, what's it like living in Spain? When I go to the States, when I visit the States, it's interesting, even today, if I go to the States with my family, and I'm in a restaurant, and I'm talking to the head waiter, and I say, no, but we live in Spain. And the head waiter says, wow, you live in Spain? Yes. What's it like? Es la pregunta. What's it like? Como es? Because for many American people, they have never lived abroad. And for many American people, Europe, Europa, the old continent, many American people have a romantic vision of England, France, Germany, Italy, Spain, Portugal, wow, Denmark, Sweden, okay? Especially Western Europe, they have a romantic vision, which I don't disagree with necessarily, and they say, wow, you live in Madrid? In Madrid, what's it like? Because people don't know. If you never travel abroad, you don't know. People here in Spain don't know what it's like living in the United States, they have no idea. Complete misconception based on Hollywood and on uh, CSI or on uh, Corrupción in Miami, and they get these ideas about what life is like. They have no idea what it's like. But people tell me, I remember one American girl came to Spain about 20 years ago and in Madrid, and she was surprised about Madrid. She said, my God, it's not like what I thought. No es como yo pensé. No es como yo pensé. It's not like what I thought. And about two weeks later, she went to Toledo to visit Toledo. And when she came back, she said, well, Toledo is like what I thought Madrid was. I was expecting Madrid to look like Toledo, okay? Which means she had a complete misconception on what a major European capital should look like, okay? So when I go back to the States, people ask me, what's it like? What is Spain like? What's it like living in Spain? What's it like working in Spain? What's it like teaching on television? What's it like spending four hours in front of the television lights? What's it like, all right? Living in a country where you're not one in 45 million, because I'm a resident, but I'm not a citizen. What's it like? All right, now, los padres de nuestro amigo aquí, okay. ¿Has conocido a sus padres de él? Uh, did have you, you? Have you known... Oh, have you uh, already... No, espera. How old were you when you met your husband? Oh, to meet. Sorry. Okay. ¿Has conocido a sus padres? Mira, ¿conoces yes, yes. a sus padres? No, ¿conoces a sus padres? Do you pa know uh, his yes. parents? ¿Cuándo los conociste? When have you met? When did you? When did you meet them? Good. All right. Ahora, vamos a repetir la historia. All right. ¿Has conocido a sus padres? Have you met uh, his parents? Sí, ya les he conocido. Yes, I've just, I've already met them. No me digas just en lo que te quede de vida. I've already met them. Good. ¿Cómo son? Uh, what are they like? Good. All right. Ask me what my father was like. 
What what was your father like? All right, he was a very pleasant man, very intelligent man, and a hardworking man. Ask me what my mother was like. What was your mother like? Uh, she was uh, very affectionate and a uh, fun-loving person. Okay, fun-loving means she loved having a good time. All right. ¿Cómo son ellos? What are what they? What are they like? ¿Cómo eres tú? What are you like? ¿Cómo soy yo? What are you like? ¿Cómo soy yo? Ah, what right. am I like? Okay. Yes, what am I like? ¿Me recuerdan? ¿Cómo son ellos? Uh, what oh. are they like? ¿Me recuerdan a tus padres? They remind me uh, of my parents. Of your parents. Traducen las frases. ¿Me recuerdan a tus padres? They remind me of your parents. Deben de ser buena gente. They must be uh, nice people. Or good people. Or good people. Mm. Se está haciendo tarde. It's getting late. All right. ¿Por qué no te has acostado todavía? Why didn't you... No, why haven't you? Why haven't you... Uh, Mm. Go to go to bed. No, me acuesto de noche, cada, cada día. I go to bed. I go to bed every at night, night at night. At night. Okay. Ayer me acosté tarde. Yesterday I went to bed late. late. Okay. No he, no me he acostado todavía. I still, I know, I haven't. Um, Ponme yet al final. I haven't uh, gone. I haven't gone to bed yet. All right, good. Estos participios, sobre todo de un verbo, el verbo to go, es el segundo o tercer verbo en importancia del idioma. El primer verbo es el verbo to be. Luego, hay un litigio entre to have y to go para el segundo puesto en verbos de mayor frecuencia de uso en inglés. Un angloparlante usa algún derivado del verbo to go tres veces por minuto, mínimo. Okay? So, you must know three little words. One is, is go, the second word is went, and the third word is gone. And you should know them like you know the names of your daughters. Hmm. You understand? Hmm. ¿Cuántas veces se te olvida el nombre de tu hija cuando estás hablando? O un hija. Nunca. De acuerdo. Never. Entonces tienes tres hijos más ahora. <laughs> Go, went, and gone. All right? Hmm. Okay. Y sobre todo la pobre, gone. Okay? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> All right. Now, ido is gone. Estoy ido. I'm gone. Okay? All right. So, <laughs> ¿por qué no te has acostado todavía? Why haven't you gone to, to bed yet. All right. Okay. Why haven't you gone? Porque no tengo, todavía no tengo sueño. Because I'm still... Um, I'm not? I'm not... Um, Ask me how to say tengo sueño in English. How? How do you say tengo sueño in English? I'm sleepy. Ah, oh, yes. Because I'm not sleepy yet. Good. All right. Repitamos esto. Se está haciendo tarde. It's getting late. ¿Por qué no te has acostado todavía? Why haven't you gone to bed yet? Todavía no tengo sueño. Because I'm still... I'm not... I'm not having... I'm not... I'm not sleepy yet. All right. Are you sleepy now? No, I'm not. Ask me if I'm sleepy now. Are you sleepy now? No, I'm not. I'm not sleepy now. I'm tired, but I'm not sleepy. <laughs> okay. ¿Has puesto ya el despertador? Uh, did you put... Has Estoy con el presente. Yes, Perfecto, yes, yes, yes. chica. Have you... Um, have you set... Have you set the clock? Alarm. The alarm clock. The alarm clock on? No. <laughs> to set. The verb is to uh, set. Have you set the alarm clock? Yet? Yet? ¿Has, has, has puesto el despertador ya? Have you? Have you set the alarm clock yet? Sí, ya, la, ya lo he puesto. Yes, I haven't... I have. I have. Already? Already done it. Okay, or I've already set it. Okay. Ask me if I have eaten breakfast yet. Have you eaten breakfast yet? Yes, I've already eaten breakfast. Ask me if I've spoken to my wife yet today. Have you spoken to your wife yet? Yes, I've already spoken to my wife twice today. All right. Ask me if I have finished the water yet. Have you finished the water yet? No, I haven't finished the water yet. 
Ask me if I'm still drinking it. Are you still drinking it? Yes, I'm still drinking it, but I haven't finished it yet. I'm still drinking it. So I haven't finished it yet. Ask me if I think I'll finish it before the end of this class. Do you think you've, you're finished? You'll. You'll finish it uh, before the end of this class? No, I don't think so. Okay. I think in the next class I will still be drinking this water. Uh, ask me if I think I'll finish it before the end of the day. Do you think you'll fin you will finish it before the end of the day? Yes, I do. I'll finish it before the end of the day. Ask me if we have finished this list yet. Have we finished this list, that list yet? No, we haven't. Ask me if we're still doing it. Are we still doing it? Yes, we're still doing it. Okay, ask me if the class, if this class has ended yet. Has this class ended yet? No, this class hasn't ended yet. Ask me if it is still in session. It is. Is it? Is it still in session? Yes, it's still in session. Okay. Now, what am I holding? You're holding a microphone. Well, yeah, the microphone. It's the only one. Okay, I'm going to put it on the table, okay? Okay? Yes. Have I put it on the table yet? No, you haven't. Am I still holding it? You are still holding it. And now, have I put it on the table yet? Yes, you have. Okay, bah. No, you, you, <laughs> you don't. Have I? You haven't. Right. Okay, I'm going to put the uh, microphone on the table. Have I put it on the table yet? No, you haven't. Frase completa. You haven't put it on the table yet. Okay. Am I still holding it? You are still holding it. And now, have I put it on the table yet? No, you haven't put it on the table yet. Am I still holding it? You are still holding it. And now? You still haven't. No, you haven't? You haven't still. Okay. No. You Obvious haven't put still. it on the table yet. Am I still holding it? You are still holding it. Have I put it on the table yet? Now you have put already? it. Already? Already on the table. All right. Cuando estás con el presente continuo, Norma, is still. Todavía estás. Still is todavía en el sentido de sigue. Sigues, lo sigues, sigues sujetándolo en la mano. Okay. Cuando usas el presente perfecto, Norma en negativo o en interrogativo se suele usar yet. No es que se suele usar, es que mm. se usa. Mm. Okay. No has comido todavía. You haven't eaten yet. Significa que estás todavía sin comer. You're still, you are still without eating. Mm. Okay. Now, ask me if I have finished my water yet. Have you finished your water yet? No, I'm, no I haven't. I haven't finished the water yet. Ask me if I'm still drinking it. Are you still drinking it? Yes, I'm still drinking it. All right. Now, I'm going to put the cup on the table. Have I put it on the table yet? No, you haven't put it on the table yet. Am I still holding it? You are still holding it. Okay. And now, have I put the cup on the table yet? Yes, you have. Okay, good. Y si quieres recalcar, dice, sí, ya lo has puesto. You have already put it. You have already put it on the table. Am I still holding it? No, you, you didn't. Uh, no, you're not. You're not. Um, okay, re per perfecto. I ought to repeat. You're not holding it anymore. You're not holding it anymore. Okay, good. Now, is am I still holding the microphone? No, you are not holding the, <coughs> the microphone. Anymore. <coughs> you are not holding the microphone anymore. All right. Are your daughters still growing up, or have they already reached maturity? No, they are still growing up. Okay. Is Spain still a young democracy, or is it a mature democracy now? I think it's still a young democracy. All right. Okay. And uh, have the elections taken place yet? No, they haven't. Taken place? They haven't taken place yet. Are we still in the campaign? We are still in the campaign. Good. Is this book open or closed? This book is open. It's open. Ah. And now I'm going to turn all the pages. Have I finished turning the pages yet? No, you haven't uh, finished. Fin to turn the pages. No, digas to turn. Turning. You haven't finished turning the pages yet. Am I still turning them? You are still turning them. And now? You have I finished yet? No, you haven't finished yet. Am I still turning the you pages? You are still turning the pages. And now, have I finished yet? You haven't uh, finished yet. Am I still turning them? You are still turning them. And now? You haven't finished yet. You're you are turning them. You're still. You're still turning them. And now? And now you are still turning them. So I haven't finished yet, right? You haven't finished yet. Ah, my God. Have I finished yet? Now you have finished. Am I still turning the pages? No, you ha you're, you're not, not uh, turning? turning the pages.
anymore. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Don't worry, girl. <laughs> All right. You're doing very well. Everybody has problems with confusing these things. And I will continue in other classes with you and other students for a year. Hasta que se quede claro. Okay. I want to speak English like your daughter. <laughs> very good. You have a lot of work. Okay. I need to go. We need to go. I'll be back in five minutes. Don't go away. Yeah.